Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name's Darren. I was recently approached by a company called Vigru, who asked me to do a review of their battery screwdriver. And in many ways, it's very similar to the Ryobi Quick Turn that I've already done a review on. There are some differences and quite a lot of similarities. Now, the people at Vigru didn't ask me to say anything specific. They didn't pay me to do this. They did supply me the screwdriver for free, for which I'm very thankful. But the thoughts are genuinely my own. I've not been swayed by receiving this. After all, I already own an electric screwdriver, so I didn't need this, but it is nice to have. To be honest, I was hoping that I'd be able to say something fairly negative about this, because then I would seem more genuine, wouldn't I? Or <laughs> well, you can't buy me out by sending me things. But in truth, I've been really pleased with it. So have a look at this and see what you think. So the Vigru comes in a plastic box, which when you open it up, has all the accessories in there. Whereas the Ryobi did not come in a plastic box, it came with a little padded bag, but had some accessories as well, had a few different screwdriver bits. The Vigru has a few more bits. We've got a couple of drill bits, some screwdriver bits in different sizes and then a stack more down here, and even some sockets down the bottom, uh, metric as well, which is good. One thing though, which is a bit of a disappointment, is that the power supply here, or the charger, is actually for a US plug. So, can't use it here without a travel adapter. Luckily, I have a travel adapter, but something you might want to consider if you're thinking of buying one of these is that uh, it won't plug into a standard outlet in Australia, New Zealand, or Europe, I believe. Like I say, there's a few bits and pieces in the kit. You can see what's there. But there's also this flexible shaft, which is quite handy. Again, that's something that the Ryobi didn't have, but you can get into different corners, different tight spots with it. With the Ryobi, the bits just clip into the end and are held in place with a magnet, but they don't actually chuck in or clip in. They're just held there like so. Normally not a problem. Occasionally, when you're using a Phillips head or something like that, as you remove the screwdriver, you can in fact pull the whole thing away. That can be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. The Vigru, on the other hand, has this little chuck and things don't come out so easily. It clips in place there, which is a nice little feature. Both devices can be used straight or bent into a pistol sort of grip. And I find I do use, certainly with my Ryobi, I use the pistol grip quite a lot. So handy to have. The Vigru has torque settings, which the Ryobi doesn't have, as well as a drill setting at the end, a maximum torque if you like. And another thing it has that the Ryobi doesn't have is a battery level indicator. All you get in the Ryobi is a little LED here which shows you what, when it's charging, it's red, and when it's finished charging it goes off. Whereas the Vigor on the other hand gives you a level reading. This took me about two and a half hours to charge from empty. Both have a sort of rubberized kind of coating on them for grip. I do find the Ryobi a little bit more comfortable, but the textured rubberized grip on the Ryobi here just gives you a little bit more grip. <laughs> so yeah, that's a win for the Ryobi there, but this isn't too far behind. And something I like about the Vigru is forward and reverse are the same place they would be on a drill. So we've got Reverse there, and push it in from the other side, like so. We've got forwards, so that little button there switches between forward and reverse. Very handy. Another thing the Vigru has that the Ryobi doesn't have is a little work light. So sure, that's going to flatten your battery a little bit quicker, but it does make it easier to see what you're doing. And the Vigru has got a little torch on the bottom, which you can just click in there and look around. With the Ryobi Quick Turn Screwdriver coming in at 390 grams, and the Vigru at 451, at an extra 61 grams, the Vigru is the heavier of the two units. Seeing it comes packed with some drill bits, let's give those a go and see how they work. 
I've clamped a little piece of wood to the table here. It's just pine, but ah, now that's not so great. It's a bit wobbly in the chuck there. You don't really want a wobbly drill bit while you're drilling. But anyway, let's put that up to max as well. All right, maximum torque setting. There is no speed selection on this. Whereas the Ryobi has two speeds, fast and slow, or one for slow, two for fast. The Vigru just, yeah, even the button doesn't give you a, a variable speed. It's just on or off and just the one speed. So you can drill holes in pine with it, but perhaps it's not ideal. You'd be better off using a drill, I think. But if this is all you had with you, it would certainly do the trick to some degree. All right, let's crank the clutch up to number six and see if it will countersink this bit by itself, just with pressure. Holy dooly, yes it will. Wow, that really, that really put that in there. Let's try the same with the Ryobi. Hey. <laughs> the faster speed certainly makes the Ryobi a better drill, but the lack of a chuck means you can't pull your drill bit back out very easily. That's a worry. There we go. Yeah, having the chuck on the end of this actually is very handy. Let's see if I can drive the screw in as far as I could with the Vigri using the Ryobi. No. So, the Ryobi actually has less torque than the Vigru as well. Interesting. Well, at the end of the day, I'm actually quite impressed with this. I will continue to use my Ryobi Quick Turn. I'll keep that one up in the house for use up there. And this one will find a little place here in the workshop. In fact, I've already split the top off the box and used the bottom half of the box in my drawer here. Having taken the top off the box, it now fits here in my screwdriver drawer, ready to go whenever I need it. So that's really handy. I don't need to 3D print anything now to make it fit because, uh, well, the original box is doing the trick. Which one should you buy? Um, I like them both. As you know, I'm very attached to this one. I've had it a long time. And like I've said, it's nice and comfortable to hold. But bang for the buck, well, this one. The Vigru has, comes with more accessories and it's got the extra little work light, the torch at the bottom. Admittedly, I probably won't use the torch so often, but you never know, you might drop a screw on the floor or something one day and you want to find it. And nice to have a torch handy. And the battery meter and the clutch. They're all bonus features for me. I really like them. Thank you to Linky and the people at Vigru. Much appreciated. Fairly short video. Hopefully it's been of some help. Have a great day and I will catch you in the next one.